I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're on our first meal of the day. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready because I love food. <laughs> We're starting with two pieces of toast and this is the, the bread that I use. It's a sprouted uh, whole wheat, a whole egg, and I mashed up some avocado with uh, some garlic and sea salt and then we got tomatoes so we're gonna make kind of like a avocado tomato toast <laughs> is my gym. Uh, if you guys are a lot of new subscribers and you have not watched all of my videos, in case you don't know, <laughs> me and my boyfriend Zach, we've been together for nine years, have owned our own gym, which is I'm in my office right now. <laughs> we have had our gym for almost eight years now, going on eight years. <laughs> I swear I'm not that bad at math. <laughs> A lot of people think that your lives are super exciting and you're all over the place. Honestly, um, our life is not super exciting. <laughs> I mean, to me, I, I feel like it is, but to a lot of people, it's you might think it's like pretty repetitive because most of the time our schedules, our routine is pretty re repetitive when we are not traveling. <laughs> You know, besides having the flexibility um, of owning a business, just make your own schedule, you can pretty much do whatever you want, but owning a business still requires a lot of your time. I mean, because you are, you're the boss. This is your baby. Uh, you, you know, you have employees, you have members, you have new potential members, you have people, questions all the time, things that go wrong, you know, anywhere from maintenance to memberships to decline cards, people trying to get away with not paying and yes it happens a lot I actually do majority of the paperwork here when it comes to memberships making sure money's coming in making sure everything's taken care of bills stuff like that. I take care of all of that and um, I always call myself the uh, membership Nazi <laughs> because um, when I see some somebody coming in and they're not paying and they're trying to be sneaky I'm always approaching them and I do it really nice <laughs> But that's a part of you know owning a business is you have to deal with stuff like that there and there's a lot of people like that. It's weekly. I mean, almost every day there's there's something going on and um, besides having my own clients, besides doing YouTube videos, besides doing, uh, I mean, all of my own separate stuff, I am taking care of a lot of stuff at the gym. Um, I do the website. I create all of our our. Uh, advertisements and stuff like that for our gym. Zach has his own share of responsibilities so we do them together um, but we kind of balance it out. In the beginning it was really really tough because you don't I mean you you have to learn how to separate business from personal and it was really tough in the beginning but I think after doing it for how long we've been doing it now we have pretty good balance we have a pre we, we do pretty good team <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll be discussing more of that uh, when we do our video um, so that'll be coming very soon it's very rewarding and I love it words can't even describe how much I love doing this now because I used to work in a dental office full-time I used to work under somebody just I really really love being um, self-employed I love being um, self-motivated so many things that I have to have be responsible for it makes me feel really good it makes me feel productive and I've always been that way I've always been a leader my mom said I was always running around like doing crazy things like facilitating things <laughs> So I guess it just finally, you know, became my actual job. Sit here majority of the day. I actually was laughing because I was watching Katie Hearn and, and um, Hayden's uh, YouTube video the other day and they were talking about how they're like, we don't have much of the day in the life because we 
sit on our laptops most of the time working. <laughs> And I was laughing because I'm like, dude, that's like me and Zach, like so relatable. Because <laughs> the majority of the time we're working on our laptops or we're training clients and it's, that's about it. When it's something that you truly are passionate about and that you truly love, that to you doesn't seem boring to you. You actually really enjoy it. Me and Zach are actually big homebodies. Besides going outside, hiking, whatever it is, we, we're very active people in that aspect. We're big outdoorsy people, dirt bikes. But again, too, being a boss, um, owning a business, you have you have to structure a schedule. Uh, otherwise, this can rule your life. It can take over. The hard truth of it, that owning a business can really run your life if you let it. It's all about having a balance and um, we do pretty good. We do pretty good and we have we just schedule trips when we do things and make sure that we do take our trips and, and go do things. Otherwise, we would be here all the time. <laughs> We're so supportive of each other and we love doing it together. So it, it's fun at the same time. Honestly, would not change anything in the world for what I currently do right now. So we will be doing a full video on owning a business together and how we got started and, and I also will be posting a YouTube Q&A with me and Zach. So if you guys have any questions specifically for Zach, guys, Zach is an endless database of everything from if you want to know stuff about Muay Thai, you want to know stuff about Jiu Jitsu, for physical, um, he does a fitness, uh, physical therapy, he's also a nutritionist, um, he personal training, or even down to specific things to his tattoos to you know what he enjoys anything like that like ask away Zach is a, <laughs> a big social by more than I am but um, I always catch him off guard with my camera and he's always like what the heck and then I'll be like oh do, do that again and he hates when I tell him to oh repeat what you just did and I can't do things on command he says it doesn't work it has to be natural it has to flow you have to get me in the moment otherwise it just looks weird he's actually the bigger goofball than I am like believe it or not. If you were here at the gym, you met him and you saw him in his daily form when a camera's not in his face, Zach is crazy. You wonder why our dogs have the personalities they do. <laughs> it takes two. It is quiet in the gym. It, this is the most dead part of the day. And this is usually when I record videos is there's everybody's at work, I, I, I'm pretty sure. But there's nobody in here right now. But this is the gym, guys. We got the front area, the doors. We've got the Nutri Shop, and then the gym floor. All of our different benches. We've got dumbbells. Look at these guys. They go up to 110. Kettlebells. We got all of our benches, cables, and this is our rig. Look at this guy. Boot camp area. Cardio equipment leg area oh yeah so much stuff you can actually open up and you can go outside we have tires and you can see the hammers here in the corner this is the training area if you're feeling like hitting some bags we've got bathrooms bathrooms up there is my office <laughs> and we're here so showers are straight there back here is actually we are going to make this into we're gonna have like a some rock climbing wall and um, this will be all finished as well because we're gonna put more stuff back here we're gonna probably do speed bags and, uh, and on this wall over here so so much room for new improved everything so it's really cool it's never ending with this <laughs> this is my home away from home guys this is our baby we don't have kids just fur babies in a gym <laughs> so we are on to um next meal which is the most basic yummy ever combo you could do apples and almond butter and 
I put cinnamon on top. Really busy at nighttime when everybody gets off work and comes in. Uh, we are open at about six o'clock in the morning and we close about nine. Our goal is to go 24 hour and have a full scale gym and classes and our supplement shop. So hopefully in the next year, we will meet that goal. So um, we've already met our goal of owning, opening up our own supplement shop. So the next is going to be 24 hour. We live in a small town, it's not a big city. So the competition here is it's, it's more, um, it's not like if you live in like an LA area. So, uh, so it's a little bit different here in smaller towns. The selfie mirror here, here and yeah. We love when you come by the gym, when you come say hi, come meet me and Zach. So anybody's welcome. We have a full scale gym, classes, everything from boot camps to Muay Thai to Jiu Jitsu. We even have kids classes, a little supplement shop. We have trying to build everything under one roof. <laughs> Please come by. We'd love to meet you guys. So better be coming by. <laughs> Just working away. Um, I'm about to eat again. Yes, I am still sitting here. We're gonna eat again. <laughs> We've got salmon, quinoa, lettuce. <laughs> Somebody's calling me. <gasps> Lemon and stevia in there for dressing. So we know salmon is essential omega, so omega-3, which is one of a very essential fat that you need to be intaking. If you're not supplementing it, you can get it from your salmon. Mmm, it's good. The lemon and stevia, the citrus on the fish makes it really good. Mmm, all done. Yeah, I'm a little sweaty McMinnie. Yeah. Hi. That's okay. Hi. I look like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> After my workout, I was going to have a protein shake and I just was not feeling a protein shake. So with that being said, if you're not feeling a certain food item, you do not have to have that food item. So I'm just going to compensate with the amount of protein I need with something else instead of getting it from my protein shake. Okay, right now we're going to do instead, I'm going to do a chicken and asparagus. And this is the asparagus. This is bruschetta asparagus that I grilled on the barbecue. And what is that? That's ricotta cheese, I think. Feta cheese, just a uh, crumbled feta. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Our next meal, dog food. Macros are pretty basic on dog food. Actually, has anybody ever tried dog food in their lifetime? When I was young, I tried to eat dog food and it, it just tastes like throw up. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna finish up today with one last meal. We are going to do a shake. And here is a good example, kind of like fine tuning down. You don't have much macros left and you're kind of cutting it close. Really all it is is playing with the numbers with the serving amount until it fits into your macro. So you don't have to sit on one specific number to, um, to make a meal. Literally, I here's um, carbs. I needed a certain amount of carbs, so I just kept taking and adding from oatmeal and changing my in my my fitness pal the number until it fit in my carbs perfectly that's really all it is is just playing with your serving size and your numbers until they they fit <laughs> double fudgy chocolate banana shake banana we've got oatmeal almond milk chocolate whey protein um, cacao powder cacao powder <laughs> um, not only does it make your um, your shakes taste really good because it gives it really that chocolatey taste ew a huge spider just ran across the floor over there I hate spiders arachnophobia look at the size of that thing 
Oh. So as I was saying, uh, magnesium is good for a, a variety of things. So for not only for brain function, also helps to kind of relax your mind, especially um, there's certain certain different magnesiums. There's a, actually a bunch of them. One for at night that helps relax your mind, your brain. Also for a liver detoxification. Also if you have any constipation, it kind of helps kind of clear you out it's like a natural la laxative uh, relaxing your muscles too after a pump um, so magnesium is good for so many various things and if you ever notice if you're really craving chocolate that actually means you have a magnesium deficiency I don't know if you knew that before I actually started having met more magnesium in my diet I used to crave sh chocolate all the time as your body knows it lets you know <laughs> adding it to your shakes like this or or even supplementing it in supplement form but you have so many different options so it just depends on what you want to do and so I'm doing it in a shake because I want the chocolate flavor <laughs> if you make any of these recipes please tag macros with Jen please like the video subscribe share it thank you so much you guys for tuning in and I will see you on the next episode.